Okie doke. We are going to be doing a one magazine collage. This is the June July issue of Harper's Bazaar. And I don't know that I have ever had a Harper's Bazaar magazine yet. All right, so I don't know what we're going to do in this one. We got to see what kind of pictures we get. She's a sideways face, so she's hard to do. That could be a good body. Ooh, interesting. She looks like Selma Blair. Ooh, she has all different spectacles on. Oh my goodness. Dior spectacles, I love that. Yay, that's exciting. All right, that's a nice big thing we could use. There's another, ooh, look at that. Cheetah, that's it. Oh, there's some good backgrounds. Ooh, I'm kind of loving the Harper's Bazaar. All right, she is Van Cleef and Arpel, always has really good. There's some more sunglasses. I've used sunglasses like this in my artwork in the past. Some rings. Oh, this is a nice big magazine. I may have to... I just used this in something. When you start to get the ads, then you're going to be like, oh, I've used that before. Okay, get a year of both Bazaar and L. I already get L. So now I need to just get Harper's Bazaar. This is very exciting. I like this magazine. It's very sunglassy. I can always use sunglasses. I just used those in the background of this. Yep, there they are, right there. I didn't use the other um, gold ones. I only used the silver ones. This could be a cool background. Okay, I'm excited about some of this, but some of it's getting a little scary. I haven't seen any people yet. We haven't ripped anything out yet to be a thing. I just ripped her out for the Marie Claire One Magazine collage. If I get desperate, I'll rip her out again. We'll use her in two, right? There haven't really, I don't wanna be judgy, but there haven't been many people. Okay, there's him. He's from, we just watched this. In the Heights. Uh, he tends to look down. That's a very small face. Uh-oh. Maybe I don't like Mary Cl or, uh, Harper's Bazaar as much as I thought I did. Uh -huh. It's okay. It's very small. That is a... Oh, this is a soccer girl. Nice. I could maybe make her a dress, a shirt. That's a little bulky for doing a collage, but we can make it work. This is way too bulky for doing a collage. You could never figure that out. Valencia. I got four pages of that one same ad. That's not, oh, I'm getting nervous, you guys. We need something to do. Naked people. Okay. Well, we're gonna have to figure out something else this time. Oh, I like that lady's hair. My hair's blue. Oh, look, her hair's, like blue, gray. Why do they have their hair all in their face? I don't like that. So my only faces are people with hair in their faces? All right, we're going back to the beginning and seeing what we could find. We may be stuck with her. All right, we're gonna go with the Chanel lady.
Margot Robbie. Oh, I know her. She's from uh, Suicide Squad. Okay, and then we can... That's an okay body. Like, we can see all the parts of her. So, let's... So, if we have her head and this body, we're only going to get that much of it. That's not very exciting. Okay, let's keep looking. I kind of like these guys. I want to maybe play around with them. And maybe play around with that girl. All right, so those could be her friends. Or at least something to do. Feeling a little... Oh, and then we have the Prada on the back. So that's good. We can do some backgrounds with that. We can do some backgrounds with this. So this little area is good for backgrounds. Boop, boop, boop. All right. I could use a body. Harry Winston. Oh, maybe we'll have to do a funky body. Let's plan on that. Let's plan on a funky body. Okay, can we put sunglasses on Margot Robbie? Where'd she go? Are those big enough to go over her eyes? Okay, they're this tall, that tall. They're this wide, that, oh yeah, we can do that. All right, so we're gonna put a pin in that because we could maybe use that. Didn't we see another um, big set of Sunglasses. Okay. I use that lady's neck. A whole bunch of shoesies. Ooh, that's a pretty rainbow of stuff. I'll use that sometime. Okay. Do we? No, I want one of these, which I just lost because I took them out. I want that one set. Did you see that one set? This set. We still need a body. That's cute. Not thick enough to be a body. There's a body. There's a body. Good eyes. I'm kind of interested in. She's got kind of squinty eyes. I need people with big eyes. What about those eyes? Okay. I may try to do something with this. Don't. Uh, I'm not guaranteeing that one. I still need a body. Don't know why they covered up these girls' heads, these faces. That's a good side angle face.
Okay, so we're gonna take this girl's arms. Oh, she doesn't have good arms. Hmm. I kind of like now that I know she's a soccer player that that's soccer. Okay, where's Margot Robbie? Okay. So here's her head, big head, sideways body. I'm going to try that. I am going to try that because that just kind of intrigues me. Okay. So this is the Harper's. I will start cutting those out and we'll get back to you. Okay. I am doing a one magazine collage with the Harper's Bazaar and we have Margot Robbie. We have this. We have this. I'm playing with all different kinds of angles. We have gold. We have some gold and purple. Do we want to do a purple background? Oh, there's some more gold. Okay, so purple and yellow go beautifully together. We're going to do it on the other side of this page. So we're going to do some purple. I just used this one so it's wet. We're not going to use that one. We'll use this one. Okay, let's get our stuff out of the way. Can't lose my sunglasses. I just need to cut a bunch of this stuff out. Well, I guess this is as close to purple as I'm going to get. So we will do purple and we're doing seedless preserves and picked raspberry. This is old, old paint. So Let's get this. I'm going to do this on all of this page. And I will have a border at least over there. I'm just using a little blendy tool on this because I'm feeling lazy. I don't want to have to wash a paintbrush. And you can make patterns in it, so that squiggle's stuck in there. I'm more of an uppy-downy girl, but I can live with a an occasional squiggle. All right, now I'm going to do two different stencils. So I have new stencils. I have, ooh, look at that one. That one's jazzy, and that one's more plain. Which do you want? I think I'm gonna go with the more plain one to start. And these are from Joggles. Well, I didn't have to use my teeth. Never use your teeth on your stencils. All right, here we go. All right, let's do up here. Let's do over here. And off the page, we just got a little bit left. Let's move it a bit and let's do down here and stay on the page. Just trying to use up what's on my blender tool. Nice. Okay, so now let's do another stencil. I'm thinking something simple, just like dots that I can, that we're gonna use with this picked raspberry. Um, I'm thinking something simple that I can maybe outline and I'm gonna put this on lots of this. There we go, it's covering almost the whole thing. Not necessarily everything, but almost the whole thing. All right, so that's gonna be our background for this page. Okay, so we're working on our Harper's Bazaar single page, 
And there's parts of it that I feel really good about and parts of it I'm not so sure about. So let's look at that. I feel like I have tons of edge stuff, which I don't think should be a press. <laughs> so, so that is not the best part of a magazine collage, right? Um, so I have tons of edge stuff. I have this soccer kicker. I have this head. Right? So she's taken up pretty much the whole thing. I found this cool side piece. Oh, 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 this was fun. I lost the other um, cougar type thing. I don't know where it went. But I thought this would be fun to make a hat on her head before her head was much bigger before I cut it off. But I feel like that could be like a crown thingy. What else do I have? Oh, I have her glasses, which I switched. I did a switcheroo and um, I learned that from Diane Reevely. They were like this and I switched them around and I'm gonna put gold, a gold bar between them. So she looks pretty cool, right? So we're getting something. I got more edge stuff. You're going to hear a lot about the edge stuff and not a lot. See, I got even more. Um, boop, boop, boop. Okay, let's see. And this is that weird um, eyeball lady that I, I thought we could do something with. But I think that she may be a, um, a picture for another day. So I'm going to keep her off to the side. Because I was going to use some of her bottom as the bottom of her thing as a um, border. But as you can see, I have so many borders. Okay, so now we have to find some, like, we need more stuff to do. Okay, what about these girls? I could add these girls to the border to give us some interest. And I need one other thing going on. Like, I, there's not enough going on. If there was more to that tree, I would do more to that tree. Do we want a big finger? Or I could be looking for hair for her. So, interesting stuff. Hair for her. I don't really want a giant finger. Okay. Let's keep looking. We could have a hang glider coming in. If they were facing that way, I probably would do that. Do we want to use the gold? Oh, we already have gold, right? We have gold up here. We could bring some gold down, so that's a good one. That's going to add a little interest. What can we use for her hair? Let's find some hair. We need like a big dress. If that sweater was just a little bit weirder. There's blue. Oh, what about this? Could we make that hair? I just need a little bit of it, right? Because we can pull her all the way down here. Her glasses. So we need about yay big of hair. Huh. Okay, so that's definitely a possibility. Her, her white shirt. Oh, there's hair. Oh, don't forget, we had that funny color hair, huh? Ooh, I'm gonna use her hair, right? Do we, yeah, because blue will show up better than silver will. Although I like her face. I like an older face. Let's see, can we get her blue hair? Can we do it 
that way. I like her sideways face too, though. That's really, I'm gonna use this hair. Okay, so I am going to cut these, the rest of these things out and I'm going to stick them down and I will be back. Okay, so this is the Harper's Bazaar page and I was just getting ready to mess around with her hair. Remember, we're using this old deer's fun hair. And I thought you might enjoy figuring this out with me. So I'll get you up to speed here in a sec. So we're not going to be able to use the majority of this, right? It's not going to, I'm not going to have a whole bunch of hair sticking out of a page, but we also want to have enough fluffy goodness so that we can play around with this. So I have so far done this without you. I have put some of those people that we found. I found this really cool clock. This is um, our kick gal. She's not totally put down because we're gonna have to put her head on here once we figure that out. And I'm assuming she's gonna have a very short neck I went down as far as I could with her foot. Now she looks like she's kicking this lady. I always think of these people as my friends. They're encouraging me with my magazine collage. All right, so what we're gonna do is we are going to use this as a, like a, a crown thing. And then we're gonna have hair coming through there, okay, onto her head. So it could be a bang, it could be a, that's why I cut all around, because I don't know which way I want it to go. So it could be like that, or it could be green. Which do you like? Ooh. Ooh, I didn't think I wanted green because I have bluish hair, but I kind of like the green. What do you think? Okay, let's go back to blue. Let's see if I like the blue. So to me, the okay, so part of the reason why I think I like this is because this is growing down. This hair is growing down. So it almost feels as if it really could be hair, right? Um Okay, so let's make a paper doll of this. Let's go ahead and glue this part right here to here. So now we know that's gonna be her hair. And then let's have a whole video about how to make paper dolls. So I don't try to do everything at once or stick it on the page because that's too freaky for me. I like to, to do it as I go. So let's see where her head's gonna be. So we can cut off a good bit of this. I almost feel like this is her bang. Yes, that'll work. Okay, so let's make this her bang. And then we'll keep some of this out here. We can always glue it back in if we need to, right? Let's get his, her crown around because we have to make it skinny enough that her crown will fit. Oh, it may be just perfect. It may just be perfect. Or it may be just a trifle too wide. So let's just take a teeny bit off this side. A teeny bit off of this side for now. Okay. And this is why I don't often let you watch this because it's a lot, oh, I think this crown is upside down too. It's a lot of just sitting and staring and figuring things out. There we go. Right, and that's not all that exciting. Okay, there we go. There we go. So if her head is right there, 
Let's make her bangs. So we need to, let's move this up. We're gonna make her bangs so we can see her eyebrows. So her bangs are gonna go right about there. Let's cut this girl some bangs. And I don't want these bangs to be super straight because nobody's bangs are super straight. They're just a little choppy. Okay, so that's good. And then I'm going to use a pair of snips. And I'm just randomly going and cutting holes in her bangs. So they're not straight across, right? Right. Now we'll be able to get a better idea. Oh, that's cute. Oh my gosh, this is turning out great, if I do say so myself. Okay, is her hair still just, am I just not turning this right? I don't wanna get it any smaller than I have to because I think it's kind of cool. Oh, I kind of love that that way. Okay, so I am going to make sure we can get everything flat because sometimes I think I can get it flat. I mean, that's just right in there. Okay, well, we're going we're gonna to pin it down. Do we want it just a trifle? Oh, if we go up a titch, I think what will happen is the um, hair will get skin just a, enough skinnier that I can feel super confident. There, now it's laying flat. And we can see a little bit of her bangs, right? Okay, I think that's super cute. Super cute. Okay, so that's on there. And let's get this on here. And if you don't want to glue your stuff to your stuff, don't glue on your page. Okay, and then we gotta glue her bangs down because these aren't glued down to her. And if we don't do this, we're gonna have these weird random floaty bangs that vex us the rest of the time. Thanks, Desi. Desi let out Wally. Because he hears me talk and he thinks, oh, it's time to go outside. Because beagles. Beagles are very high maintenance dogs. If you have never had a beagle, you don't know the half of it. Okay, all right. Now I feel like I can feel confident sticking her head on because I'm just going to chop off the top of her hair. So we're going to glue. See? <laughs> it's cheating. All right. I like to leave enough um, of a neck so that if I need to do something exciting, this'll, this'll flatten itself out all behind here. But look at how many different parts are all stuck together like a little Frankenstein back here. Oh, we don't need it all that way up, do we? Because it goes off the page. Let's glue this back here underneath here. Flip her over. We're gonna give her a jaunty head tilt. And just a teeny bit of a neck right there. Do we want her to have a... There we go. She's got a jaunty head tilt. Don't worry. Before I get this all stuck down, I'm going to cut off this little piece of neck that will be sticking out, which is why we can't have nice scissors, because we cut glue with them all the time. All right, let's try to get this glue off. Her sweater, okay. All right. This shouldn't be glued down. No. A little bit glued down, but not very much. Okay, so let's do this. And there we go, there we go. How cool is that? And then I'm gonna cut this off. Always turn your page so you can cut 
the way you naturally cut, so I'm a righty. So I cut this way. Because I want to make sure I have that glued down. Because don't forget, we had a whole bunch of that top back there. See? A lot of this is not glued down. And I want to get that top edge really glued. Okay. There we go. There we go. Fun. It's like she's got a bouffant. One of those old-fashioned bouffants. Okay. So I'm going to doodle this this afternoon. And I will be back to show you the end. All right, so it's another crazy day around here. Wally got the bone, the tiny dog wants the bone, but this is the final for the Harper's Bazaar. Um, I think it turned out amazing. I really like how her bangs came out. Um, the glasses, I put a, a line between them because I did that trick that Diane Reevely showed me where I flipped the glasses around. Um, this was the soccer girl who didn't have much shape or dimension. Um, Desi says it looks like she's kicking this girl. Uh, I love my doodling. I thought I did a really good job on that. Just to blow my own horn a little bit. I don't know if you can see this, but there's a lot of gold doodles over here. I tend to like gold doodles. There's gold doodles up here. Um, I like that I have friends around here. I colored the clock because it was too... Um, stark i colored these they were more of a light gray so now they kind of blend in i love how it turned out so hopefully that helps tara jacobson artsy fartsy life